Yep. yep. All right, we will start game number one of match number two in three, two, one, go. Good luck. GLGO. Good luck. Good luck. What are the chances they start at the same time this time? Well, they started about the same time, it looked like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about. I'll say about. All right, so looking at this card, we've got uh, the bottom, very bottom leftmost goal is the goal of the patch. Oh, emo. Emo already failed Klungo skip. Oh, I should have no. said, emo, uh, another newcomer to the bingo scene, hasn't done bingo tournaments since he won the first... No, wait, he didn't even win. <laughs> no, Cole won the first he one. Was, it was emo he was, got as, second. As me said, second place uh, <laughs> in the first ever bingo tournament to Captain Cole. Uh, but then emo took a long retirement, didn't do bingo for a while, and now he's back. All four solo kazooie moves. That is a superstar. Typically does well with uh, some long global goals, some Jinjo families. Row five potentially has something going on, but maybe not actually. Hmm. Well, as we off to the early lead, since he got Klungo skip, we'll have to see what happens. All four solo Kazooie moves does mean getting the leg spring and having enough notes for glide. Yeah. Which uh, toughy. Always kind of is. All everything in TDL gone. One of the easier all everything goals. Everything Indeed. in TDL is pretty easy to grab. All on the first floor too. That's what's nice. Like you don't have to like go up to the mountain or anything. Really easy to grab everything in TDL. Why are there two move goals in BLTR? Am I, I guess a you're counting goal? clinkers as a move goal, Which quote unquote. Be... I mean, it's basically learn claw clamors plus, plus do the movement up the clinkers. Ways. Yeah. And BLTR does look like a really good throw, actually. the poor man's red house out of the window. Already Ew. making me sick. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Emo doing the patented T-Jump for the easy first try. Picked up some time on Asmi there for sure. All right, Bex, what row are you picking? Uh, that's what I was just looking at. I was looking at the car, trying to figure out what I would do. There's um, no way for me to lower Discord without also lowering game volume, so you're just going to have to deal with Mumbo being loud. You can uh, lower my, my volume, like specifically mm -hmm. my volume yes, in Discord. Yeah, you are at 150 for some reason. Oh, yeah, I don't know why you're doing that. Maybe you were a fucking little mouse at one point. Maybe. Okay, he's at 100 now. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't know I would do, I do row three, one. Sub 50, but I think it's pretty good. What do you like about row one? A lot of it is just really stuff that I know how to do. Well, that's fair. That is the first step to completing bingos. <laughs> Razmi says, no goggles for me. I was actually talking to Emo earlier, and he's kind of got the same mindset that I do, is that we just always avoid the goggles unless we picked a row that far in advance because you can always do gondola DCW if you don't have mm -hmm. the goggles. Okay, so Emo has chosen uh, column one. Asmi has chosen okay. BLTR. Okay. Column one's not terrible. All Mumbo Warp Pads is kind of a soft global. Both of them going to be doing the learn all four solo kazooie moves. What a treat. Something I don't like about column one is that 
all four solo Kazooie moves and all Mumbo Warpads are both goals that you kind of want to skip Cloud Cuckoo Land for. Yeah. Uh, but Mingi Jongo is forcing him into that level. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's However, every level. we're going to get to see somebody collect the, uh, the Cheeto page on the pillar with Glide, potentially. Do it the intended way. Emo first to the great and yet not first inside <laughs> GGN. As we grabbing his first Cheeto on top of the uh, entrance sign. Did either of them get the goggles or did they both White House? They both White House. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. It feels more and more often nowadays that nobody wants to DCW. Feels like it is the minority option. Well, Asmi doesn't want a DCW because all Jinjas in TDL requires Talon Torpedo. But he can go mm -hmm. to Quinkers! <laughs> <laughs> don't bait people, SHM. We don't need that square filled don't in so Don't bait soon. people, says Mumbo, when he tells me yesterday to shoot a clockwork up the well up. <laughs> now Evo, on the other hand is setting up DCW um, and I don't see any reason for him to die for Talon Torpedo so I see this as a good play for him mm -hmm. yeah he's just gonna go straight to credits to hit the train station uh, switch yeah. I'm assuming yeah he might ride the train into GI Ask and me. then Asmi just took five damage to the TNT instead of attacking the TNT box at two health left. He just doesn't know, man. Asmi. How does he not know? <laughs> I, I don't know. He's too busy not getting his 157. I'm watching Asmi. <laughs> he's too busy getting his 157. No, he's not. I said he's too busy not getting his 157. Oh, but Azumi's going to do the jump, right? No. No. He, did he didn't the... even try. What a weenie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he bonks on the first move. <laughs> He's dead. So let's see. Asmi does have to get Talon Torpedo, unfortunately. So that's why he's opting out of uh, DC. Dark. Right. That's what you said earlier, I think. Right. I wasn't paying full attention because I was thinking about the DCW option. Well, Emo has the potential to go for Shoes Jump here as Asmi leaves. Asmi did get the entrance Cheeto. He's up to two. Is Emo going to remember to hit the uh, the train station warp? That's the question. No. You don't think so? I'm going to do walk of shame. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Like, you can do it later now. Like, yeah. Sony, Sony Bus got baited in the previous years of Bingo by just, like, not taking the running shoes from the start again. Warping the Mumbos and then running the shoes oh. to the train station. Nice shoes Ooh, jump for nice. all Nice. We need to do it that way. Yeah, I mean, when you take the time to center your camera, get behind you, zoom in the camera. Mm hmm Makes it a little, little easier. Yeah, I think he's just gonna peace out here. Collected yeah. his first mumbo pad. Oh, that was his first mumbo pad out of six. Ugh. So basically, Asmi and Emo did the same exact things, except Emo also set up a DCW. Yes. And Asmi collected 20 notes early that he didn't have to. Now we're going to get to watch Asmi do Pillars Jiggy. Oh. What try do you think that's going to take him? I think he'll get Pillars on his first try. I'll say it. second. It's hard to say. Okay. 
All right, what's what's the over under on Azzy's puzzle here? I say eighty nine. Wow, you have like no faith in Azzy. <laughs> Not at all. That's a pretty gross split too. Uh, He's doing it well though. Why did Emo dive down for those notes? Because he wants the notes, but he's Is not coming here? back to blow up the rock. Because he's DCWing, so you get him now. Okay. Because right. you're never coming back here. I guess he just really wants those ten notes specifically. I don't know if I would have jumped in for those ten. They're absolutely worth it. Although he's not skipping any levels, so. I still think they're worth it. They're pretty mandatory if you're deciding to skip a level, though. Yeah, but we already said he can't skip a level, right? He's not skipping a level, so... I, the only thing he's skipping, potentially, is Atlantis, but that's only 30 notes. So mm -hmm. He would have been fine to not grab those 10. I mean, is it going to lose in the bingo? No. Do I agree with the choice? No. no. That's all I'm saying. Yes, for okay. those in chat who are wondering, the four solo K moves are Wing Whack, Hatch, Leg Spring, and Glide. I do think those 10 notes are better than the I Cup 10 notes. Just saying. <laughs> all right, Bex, what are we hoping to see from Asmi as he enters MT? What's he going to be doing in here? Uh, he's gonna be doing stuff. He's gonna be collecting notes. He's gonna be stuff. Wow. Yeah, he's stuff. gonna be getting Cheeto pages. <laughs> Which ones? Well, there's the one on top of Temple, and then there's also by the Snake, Slumber, and by Pillars. So yeah. he's probably yeah. I mean, since he's got Pillars, oh my Jiggy, God. You might as well... me, we just collect. Oh my gosh, as me. <laughs> Oh my god, he like- He did it! Yay! Yay! Don't land? Oh, oh and god. he lands. It's not the worst place to land, but ugh. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if you land there. It just means you lose, like, maybe three seconds beak bombing back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much, Katie. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Emo's on his way now into MT. Good news is that Emo just has to collect notes, hit the Mumbo Warpad, and get out. He doesn't have to do any of this Cheeto collecting. We do need to make sure that he hits the oh, Mumbo Warpad, uh, though. Uh, Ask me trying to break up the prison <laughs> compound with a blue egg! You know, little known fact about that door is it actually has like 100 health, so if you shoot enough blue eggs at it. It will eventually break. Okay, who's baiting who now? Shut up. <laughs> you can beak bomb through that door, though. In fact, you can. It's hard, it's but it's possible. incredibly tough. Uh, you Splat need from, 600, uh, you know. 660 for all solo Kazooie moves. Two Mumba pads down for Emo as Azmi goes for JSG early. Gets it first try. Very nice. Good boy. Did Asmi go into prison compound just to get the warp pad and then walk out? Uh, I don't know. I don't think. He I know did. he blew up the door. I don't think he, don't think he walked in though. No, he walked in. Oh, did he? Then, then yeah, he just got the warp pad and then walked so he out. He just wanted to come back with clockwork, I guess. Even though. Uh, no, I think he's gonna go back in. You think he's gonna warp back in after slumber? Yeah. After co chamber, I guess he could. Do yeah. That. I do think, however, that the better strat nine times out of ten is to just ignore that door on the first pass, and then when you death warp come back to the beginning of the level, you just beak bomb to the door. Yeah. It's faster than wasting all the time with the loading zones and collecting the warp. I don't know, I almost think for eight cheetah pages that you don't even have to go for that one specifically, especially since well, he's going to TDL. He's got pillars, Jiggy. Oh yeah, that's true. Well then why wouldn't he just get both of them right then? Well, because he needs grip grab to get the cheetah page. Oh yeah, true. You're right, you're right. Oh, as me. <laughs> what a pussy move. I mean, it worked out for him, so. The 
runners are synced. Look at that. Third person JSG early is 10 times easier. I don't know if I can agree with that one. It was the original strat. And Emo did, because Emo's the one who came up with his third person strat. And then everybody came up with better, faster strats. But Emo staying tried and true to, so to what he knows. So you agree that it's better and faster? It's, well, I mean, the better and faster strat oh, is the ask me. strat. Trying to death work with the blue egg. <laughs> yeah, it actually switches your eggs to blue eggs, even if you come into the building with grenades. Now look at all these notes that Asby still has to collect now. Whereas Emo gets the dip, he goes straight to Witchy World. Oh, that's what Asmi did. Is Asmi took the warp back to the beginning to do JSG early. Oh. Which is not bad. I guess. Which is not bad. But it doesn't save or lose time because you're basically doing the same movement well, just now. In different... Now he walked into prison compound. Um, what? And he's as, not getting the Cheeto. As me, and he's as me not the getting Cheeto. the Cheeto. He's oh gonna get the Cheeto God. after he does pillars, and after? then he's gonna get to the Cheeto and be like, "Oh, I could have just come in through this way." Yeah. Yikes! I'm watching as me. <laughs> he's gonna get it first try. Watch. Nah, second. Where is first nope, try okay. fails, fails the first jump, he's gonna get a first try. Oh, this is interesting routing from Emo. He opts to skip the notes. Oh, because he okay. needs Van. Because he yeah. needs the mumbo pad. Yeah. Mm. Alright, he's got it. Up, oh my god, he's he's looking right at He's the looking Cheeto. at the Cheeto page. He's looking right <laughs> at it! <laughs> it's it's <laughs> And since he didn't get that Cheeto page, there was no reason for him to leave Prison Compound on the yeah. first pass. He could have just You're done right. it. right. Yeah, because he didn't oh even my use God. Earth Grab. And now oh we lost God. Asmi's game feed. Hello? See ya. Oh. He's quit in shame. Oh, there it is. Oh, what oh the... wait. He's just dropping frames. Next slide, uh. please. Next slide, please. Is this where everyone in chat can just uh, say like 23 messages about frames dropping? Just like they did to me during the hundo race? So All right, let's see if he has me as he days. enters Witchy World. Hello? Hello what? Bex? We lost her. Nice combo DCW from Emo. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Welcome back. Oh, sorry my internet. Oh, ask me. Wait, what did you ask? Like, like, it was very notes. broken. Ask me! These, no. These notes are worth it for Asmi because Asmi is skipping a level. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But let's go back to the Cheeto page. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dumb, not gonna lie. I just imagine Although, as the, you know, the grunty blackout is happening, as he's just going, no! <laughs> he's, uh, he's got all gingers in TDL, and there's two fast Cheeto pages. Well, the Cheeto pages in TDL are pretty fast. Uh, okay, um, so... HFP's also got easy Cheeto pages. Getting pillars the intended way, you have to build drill the rock in the center, and then you, like, jiggle the pillars underneath until it falls down. And then you have a certain amount of time before it disappears and then reappears on the top pillar. You don't even have to use grenade eggs on the pillars underground. You can just peck them. Yeah, I like this from Emo. He's just taking the van all the way around Witchy World. World Tour with the van! He gets the treble. Uh, 20 notes are always appreciated. I mean, this is the best choice for Emo, too, especially since he was going to DCW, because now he gets a saving quit as the van. And yes. still have his DCW ready to go. Yes. Although Emo is not spamming the horn, so he is choosing to lose all these frames. Is a big problem. Oh my 
keep it out of Steam. I need these notifications. Asmi, what do you need this for? Yeah, what does Asmi need that for? What? What? What the hell did he get oh. airborne air gaming for? <laughs> and why is he save quitting? Is he DCW uh, now? Did he set? No, he didn't set up DCW. DCW. He could have taken the warp he's path. Not DCW. How many notes did he get in Witchy World, by the way? Like 10. He got, <laughs> I, he got like, no, he got like, I don't know, 30, 40. Yikes. Is he, is he still doing this row? Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, he's still doing this row. Oh, I forgot to mark that he got pillars, Jiggy. Well, you could use Airborne Egg Game as Solo Kazooie, so it's a Solo Yeah, but Kazooie why? <laughs> but for what? It's one of the Solo Kazooie moves he needs to get for his goal. No, Duh. Airborne Egg Gaming is not a Solo Kazooie move that he needs to get. So, Asmi did just learn to move for no reason. And... Uh, you don't know. What if he uses it? One is, well, if he uses it, cool. I don't know what he's going to use it for. <laughs> I can't imagine what he does. Like, all the Jinjos in TDL, you can't even get them airborne. They're all behind cages. You can get the one at the start in airborne, that game. Yeah, I mean, If you okay. defeat Terry. So, okay, so you're telling me he's going to defeat Terry, get the fight pass, yes. and then get the Jinjo that way? Yeah, so he doesn't have to climb all the way up to the Springies platform. Yeah, perfect. He's learning ice eggs. Why? Because he's got to break in. I guess. I mean, I learned ice eggs for break in. That's because I prefer doing it with ice That's eggs fair. versus the other way. That's fair. Oh, Asmi. Did he even hit that silo? I don't even know if he got it. Imagine not hitting the clifftop silo. Who would ever do that in an important bingo match and almost lose? True. <laughs> Definitely not my number one seed. And then decide to do target Zan and then argue about <laughs> timing. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I don't know who that might have been. All right, Bex, why don't you tell the chat, where is the Mumbo Warp Pad in JRL? Mumbo Warp Pad? There is none. Good job, Vex. There's only six Mumble Warp Pads in the game. Mm -hmm. And JRL is not one of those levels that they're in. Correct. It is important to note, though, that uh, even though HFP's uh, Mumbo Warp doesn't, it's not actually called the Mumbo Warp, it's called Lower Fireside. But it does yeah. have Mumbo's face on it, so we treat that as a Mumbo warp. That is a good point. I didn't, so did the other ones say, like, Mumbo's All hut? All the other ones say outside Mumbo's hut, or whatever it's Interesting. supposed to say. I didn't know that. Or, like, you know, the, the Wumba one says inside Wumba's wigwam for GGN. Right. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> emo. <laughs> emo, yes. My boy, he's my boy. He Look at this by half a second. He's not gonna lose. By Look at the way Asmi's been playing. He's not gonna lose. I mean, true, it is Asmi. Asmi decides he wants two doubloons, but not the other two. I'm watching Mumbo Token exactly. <laughs> Where are you going, Asmi? <laughs> Where's the door? I don't think Asmi's ever learned wing whack in a speedrun. <laughs> Including 100%, apparently. I like what Emo did. Oh. He uh, did the JRL World Tour as Solo Kazooie, because she is faster. <clears throat> Dies behind the jet ski. There you go. This is Emo's doing. He's skipping the uh, 40 notes underwater. Whereas Asmi's got to yeah, do the nice sure. little... Mm -hmm. Asmi's got to do the nice swim. He's got to get That's Talon actually, Torpedo for TDL. Which, good on him for recognizing that, actually, because all gingers in TDL doesn't necessarily scream Talon Torpedo. Wow. I think it's really easy to forget Talon Torpedo when if you've you got that goal. think about the fact that they're all in cages, you have to remember that the one under yeah. the water needs something to open the cage. I've definitely forgotten Talon Torpedo for that goal in the past. 
Well, and beat uh, Asmi's done a grand total of three bingos. Oh, Asmi! He's dead. He's going to have to make a stop off in what? Sanctum. He will. Uh, so this is interesting. Emo is opting to just go ahead and warp to Minji uh, so that he doesn't have to search for him. But this also does mean that Emo is going to have to take the bubble out. Which What's wrong with that? Is not my favorite thing. I just think it's slow. Yeah, I mean... You gotta e visit Emo, the level. Emo could have opted to end on Minji and not take well, the bubble out. Well, he wants notes. Yeah, true. He wants to get some notes from CCL, so... True, true, true. I like this play. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of taking the bubble out. Mm-hmm. Both players got wing whack. Mm -hmm. is, that a, is that a goal? Oh, that is. is a goal. That's, that's on my card yeah. as well. Wow. I was trying to say it earlier, but you guys were like so into it, I didn't say anything. So I just liked it. Where is it? Both runners learn wing whack. Mm hmm. And I need, because that's in the same row for me as someone is in GI for 20 minutes. So that's kind of a GG on that row. Rest in peace. Well, Asmi might be in GI for 20 minutes. Because he doesn't Asmi have Breagle Blaster. Did not get Breagle Blaster. He definitely didn't. Otherwise, we, we would have noticed. Also, for people in chat who are asking... Uh, you have to be watching the match that something happens in. You can't be asking about past matches. That's the whole point of the card, is to get people in chat. What about a match you were in? I, I guess, if you're the one who did it. Do you hear that, Bex? I'm gonna get a one one hour fifteen against you, so I can mark it off on my card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we or as me, emo is going to the top of Central Cavern. There's a cool thirty notes there. Drop down another fifteen. It's pretty quick. Oh, Doing the safe emo, snipe. You... Doing the safe snipe. What? Just jump and press B. He can't do anything to you. He can't hurt you. Emu says those five don't need him. Yeah, does he think this is enough? No. I was thinking maybe he was satisfied with 420. He was going <laughs> to try to dip there, but he wants a little bit more. I don't think Emo's ever happy with 420. That's my response. <laughs> I mean, Absolutely you don't want him to die. I like, I like my friend. All right, Bex, what are we hoping to see from Asmi uh, as he fights this blue potion Klungo? To get the right clone. You got the first one. That's good. That's very good. Look at this. Evo, taking the bubble out is gross. <laughs> as he's got some big balls he's gonna go for the the shot hopefully the clone doesn't walk right in front of him God, i thought emo was about to walk off the path right okay. there that would have been the worst oh. thing ever as me oh i almost lost him that was kind of a twitchy shot yep i think emo landed and then jumped into the bubble you definitely don't want to crash land right in front of the bubble, otherwise bingo over. <sighs> oh my god, we're synced up. They're both in wasteland. Mm. It doesn't crash the game if you if you beak if you beak bomb like in front of the bubble and crash land the bubble doesn't recognize you so oh you just you fall through fall the bubble the and die yeah you just fall yeah. through the hole and die which means That's you rough. go back to ggm so you emo's gonna have a pretty quick uh tdl here 
Oh, he's just gonna get the mumble war pad and all the notes. And I guess he does have to split up and grab hatch get at some hat. point. Yeah. yeah. I would say he'd end on hatch, but he wants to leave out wasteland so he can get to GI. He's probably gonna skip river passage. Well, notes. what he could do if he wanted is split up here and then take solo K on the world tour. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he already has Wing Wax, so he could get the Trouble Clef and everything is so okay. Then go to yeah. Hatch. And then Death Warp out of Hatch Cave, recombine, and Death Warp again. I think that would have been the play. Yeah. But. He says, nah. Yeah. He wants to get all this stuff. I Looks hope like he doesn't he just... go into River Passage. Nah. I'd be upset. It looks like. Oh, well, never oh. Mind. See ya. Well, he needs a mumbo pad, so. Yeah, I know he needs a mumbo pad, but now I'm wondering about the routing. I think it's weird to yeah. grab the. I think it's weird to grab the roar cage notes and not be like on your way into the hatch cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the smarter play absolutely would have been to split up right at the beginning yeah. and do everything is so okay. It's okay. It's obviously like it's a pretty awkward route in terms yeah, of it what is. he has to do because he has to get the mumbo warp. Oh, emo jumping in talent trot over the pit. Not like this. Yeah, for whatever reason, when you jump over the muck in Talon Trot, it the game like reduces your speed so bad. Mm -hmm. It's like the developers were like, no, this isn't allowed. You have to jump over like normal. <laughs> Probably has something to do with like the whole shadow. Oh, Why are you build no. drilling this? What is that? <laughs> I'm watching as me. <laughs> you are watching as me. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, he's doing good. He's, uh... Yeah, he's doing great. He just forgot what, the pillars, what? Cheeto Page, when he was going to fucking yeah. pillars. Oh, this is a springy... That's a springy jump we don't see very often. Is that jump from Wumba up to Hatch Cave? You usually I guess the opposite one. Good that Emo's on low health. He's gonna go here, split up, learn hatch, and then recombine Death Warp. I'm thinking. Or no, is this? Are we in MT right now? Huh? This part is MT, but he can't re-enter MT from here. Right, but he can't Death Warp out of here. Yeah, because he he'll just. No, this is still TDL. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. When you enter, when you enter from Relic Temple, you're officially in TDL. Gotcha. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Like when you're grabbing the relic, you're in Ungabunga mm -hmm. Chamber, which is in TDL. So, yeah. Even if he were to Death Warp in here, it would still bring him to the where he entered this part of the level. So that's good. But he is gonna Death Warp because he's gonna go to GI now. So this is smart. He got the Mumbo Pad, so oh, I was he so hasn't been to Asia yet. Why Asmi was in here for a second, but yeah. He's got Jinjos. Yeah, I forgot he had stopping points. Ninja. Asmi hasn't picked up any Cheetah pages in TDL yet, has he? Uh, not to my knowledge. I don't think he has. No. Asmi I think Asmi is just closing his eyes. Out of sight, out of mind. Eight Cheetah pages don't need him. I think Asmi's been focused on what he's going to write in the apology letter to email after he loses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Asmi's dead! Oh my oh. god! It was so close. He had, like, the the stutter step out of one of the footprints, and I was like, he's dead. But he manages to make it work. I think he's got three of the Jinjos now. He has the blue one and both reds. He's still got to go get T-Rex Cage, and he's got to go do Talon Torpedo. Asmi has not learned Hatch yet. I don't know if I like this from Emo. Because he needs to bring the train in. Well, he's not breaking in. I think he just wanted the notes. Okay, yeah. So, he's going to reset on the smart, switch. He resets right here. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes back, does coal, and comes in through the train. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. This is the hot reset. I've seen two hot resets out of GI train station today. A lot more resets out of GI train station than last year. I'll tell you that. Good job, everybody. <laughs> We're learning. We're getting better as a community. It's crazy. 
Thanks uh, to your leadership. Be better at the game. Better at the game. <laughs> Not better in general. Just better at the games. The community still is shit. <clears throat> okay, now Asby's going into Hatch Cave. All right, Bex, where do you think we're going to be seeing uh, Emo take his way next? Uh, he's... Well, did he just... He just did GI, right? Yeah, I missed that. Um... So he's probably gonna either go get the train or Yeah, know? question mark. Yeah. Question That's mark. What it looks like. So yeah, he'll get the shoes here and go to Mumbo's and then take him to the mm -hmm. train station or not. Uh okay. okay. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> now if he walks into Mumbo's, then shame. Nah. Good boy. Good boy. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He's an experienced bingoer. He's made this mistake before. What is Azmi doing? Why is Azmi even over here? Is he gonna <laughs> warp there later to get the Cheeto page? Like, oh my I, god. I think that's his plan. Mm. He still hasn't picked up the Cheeto page behind Wumbo yet, right? Uh, did he do that before springing up to Hatch Cave? I want to say no. Where are you going? Notes. Look at this. Notes. Okay. No, this is fine. Notes. Okay. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, he oh. gets barged. Oh. <laughs> By the what? Well, what barged him, SHM? The barge. The Bargasaurus. <laughs> The okay. barga the Bargassosaurus. <laughs> I can't believe that's what their actual names are. It's so AIDS. Alright, that is all the Jinjos for Asmi. Mm -hmm. Good work. Yeah, usually you want to do the Mumbo stuff for the train in GGM because Mumbo's and other levels can't raise the train. Only the GGM Mumbo can raise the train. As me checking notes with a quick pause before exiting. As he didn't got, get a single Cheeto page, did he? As me got zero Cheeto pages in TDL. That's a yikes. That's a yikes. And now he's going to I, CCL. I'm hoping he collects oh some here. Oh my god, he walked yeah. all the way over here for 10 notes! It's not the worst. It really is not the worst. <laughs> oh my god. God, it's not the worst, but it's not the best, Mumbo! <laughs> Alright, Bex, as, as we makes his way into GI, what are we hoping to see? Well, he's gonna do clinkers, and then he's gonna have to learn... No, he's not. No, no he's he not. is not. No? <laughs> he doesn't have... <laughs> Uh, well, Regal I mean, <laughs> I, I was I was getting to where he's gonna have to do some moves. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have uh, some somebody forgets a move, okay moves. if any of you guys have somebody forgets a move on the card, I don't think Asmi's gonna realize it until he's literally taking the top climbers <laughs> up in the lobby. <laughs> he did not learn Regal Blaster. Oh, I missed that. But he needs to collect some Cheeto pages. Mm-hmm. There's two pretty quick ones in yeah, this level. Two pretty easy ones, although he's already choosing to forego floor two until he is done with well, clinkers. No, because the floor two Cheeto page, since he's already getting leg spring, is faster to get from that side. Uh, that's also true. I forgot, well, I forgot that he has already gotten clockworks and is now entering. Yeah. Yeah, will Asmi take 20 minutes? When did Asmi <laughs> enter GI? Like, 30 like a 38 ago, 30. So he's still in here at 58. He's dead. Oh, Asmi, come on. You can just flutter. Don't fall down like a bitch. He's not learning, uh... He's not learning anything. Oh, he's doing... Okay, I see. Oh, he's coming over he, here. He needs claw clamors. Though. Um, how much more does he need for claws? Oh, there you go. He's got it. Nice. Okay, cool. Death okay. Right, now he's well, he's, he wants to get these notes. He wants to get the Cheeto page by Lago, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Icup, you can literally flutter and only take one damage. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure you can flutter from the top and take zero damage. It's not that far of a fall. You can cut it and like hold A and fall down. All right, he's going to Lago. Emo does not pick up a Jiggy he does not need. In fact, it looks like he lost time specifically to avoid the Jiggy, to be honest. What number Cheeto page is this for Asmi? Number four? Number five? Number five. 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 That's, that's actually okay, because the floor two Cheeto is really quick, and then he's got Maybe two he and eight Cheeto are three really quick. HFP. Or yeah, I guess he doesn't want to get the one in Grotto, but... Because the two and HFP are so fast two. for his Yeah, bro. he'll get floor two and then the two HFP ones. That yeah. Alright, he does have Claw Clambers, but now he's got to do... Mm, you gotta go to... You don't have to do this. Oh, no, yeah, you do. You don't have do. to. He doesn't have to, but it is... Well, it's, it's pretty quick. faster. He shouldn't be doing this, though. He should be get, He should be doing GI the intended way. Floor one, yeah. floor two, grab leg spring, and the Cheeto end in clinkers. Uh, but we all know that he can't end in clinkers because mm -hmm. he's dead. Well, he's gonna end before clinkers, for sure. Yeah. He's not gonna get Weldar Cheeto Page. Good on all the, the good little boys Asmi. and girls in chat for not spoiling it to Asmi. <laughs> Where does the runner spend three and a half minutes trying to do floor four early square? Could that happen? Wait, what are you looking, Asmi? Yeah, Asmi, what are He's you looking, looking at? He's looking straight down, like. Asmi, this is what? not gonna work. What? What okay. is he doing? Oh, I guess now it is, but why is he making it to where the controller is not right in the center? I don't... What? I, what it looks like he's doing it on purpose, too. Asmi, I don't know what his plan is. Why would you hold the analog like this while also trying to get a frame-perfect pause? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why he's this making this so much harder AIDS. for himself. This is even worse than Trinan. <laughs> Asmi's what? trying to go for the frame perfect shot too. I am sick. But like it wasn't even on a good oh, spot. There it is. Oh, there he goes. Good job, Asmi. Now here we go. He's gonna go up, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna try to enter. Oh, he knows. No. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Somebody tattled. He knows. Wait, what? He doesn't know how to get out of here. Asmi, uh -oh. turn around. <laughs> You can't see the exit! This capture is so dark! <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, does he not have claw clamors? No, he has claw clamors. He has them. But he freaking... He knew the second he, realized. he was going to go yeah. up there. Yeah. Yeah. So Asmi coming up on five minutes in GI. Uh, was. I actually think if you have spring gaze, it's faster. That grip grab freaking sucks. Yeah. Emo showing us all how to take the uh, the intended way up. He's gonna collect his mumbo pad pretty quick. It's right here, and then he hasn't been to HFP yet, no. so he's not done with that goal yet. God bless. This is such a fast fucking row. Yeah. <laughs> Emo's like a hundred percent getting sub fifty. It's the power of all four solo K moves. Yeah. So what do we do? Do we just let Asmi play it out and see if he spends twenty minutes in here? No. <laughs> we got a game too. So that I can actually do games three and four at seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That square is never getting filled in. I'm sorry. Okay. If Asmi's not filling in that square, that square is never getting filled in. Maybe Hag will do it. <laughs> wow, Emo's got a lot of notes. 625? Yeah. So what does he need? He needs 50, this warp, this 40, warp 35, 35 notes, yeah. He's like good. That's, yeah. Game's like over, for sure. The longest thing he has to do is just get frickin' glide. Or I mean, mm -hmm. uh, not even that, the grotto cheetah pitch. That's all Mumble Warpad's done. Yep. 
Very He's going to get these two notes. He's going to get the Cheeto as he climbs up. Asmi getting his seventh Cheeto. Oh, he's not climbing up. What is he doing? Oh, I think he wants the notes by Mumbo. Yeah. Yeah, he's just getting notes and he'll beak bomb over there. I hope he doesn't drop down to take the notes by Shack Pack. I think he will, but I think the better strat would be to get shoot a clockwork down to the notes that you normally get as a snowball. Yep. While you, yeah, you would want to shoot open the ice cubes then shoot the clockwork, but yeah. There we go. Asmi's got Asmi's eight. Getting... Oh, this never mind. Geofish. That's seven. I thought he had seven. Well, he's definitely getting the one on the pillar by Glide. But I think this was a mistake going into here from Asmi. What is your camera, Emo? Oh, he's oh. getting this with a clock ready. That makes sense. Oh. That's actually better than what I suggested. You don't need... Both of these. You just need one. Yeah, so what is oh, that? Asmi. Asmi, uh, Could have done this uh, 40 minutes ago. Interesting move that you wanted here, Asmi. So Emo needs Glide, Pillar, and Grotto, and he's done? Yeah. Yeah. This might is a be, sub Might be sub-48, boys? And we thought Asmi had the better row, which he probably did. But Emo just oh. played this really well. Oh, okay. Oh, Emo really making it work. <laughs> Shooting a Clockwork to Grotto, so he only has to go in from the top. He's mm. pretty good. Okay, if Emo Ooh. peels, this might be sub 48. He's got to freaking book it, though. Mm. Yeah, and he'd have to do the, the he'd fast have to shot. Do the too. shot, yeah. Just go straight left, yep. Good job. He'd have to set up the shot so fast, too. Nah, there's, yeah. I think he can maybe still. No, no, never mind. Not if he goes from the bottom. And he's Man. going from the bottom. Yeah, I, know he's from, I know he's going from the bottom. I thought maybe he could still make it, but he's going to be like five seconds over. Emo doesn't care about your contest cards. He's he's literally taking uh -oh. his time <laughs> just to make sure he can't get it. Uh huh. Nice row from Emo. Yeah, it was pretty good. Very solid. And GG. time. Forty-eight, nice. fourteen. GG. All right. Asby's done a few bingos. He was in the first bingo tournament. Asmi was in the first bingo tournament. Well, the second one, quote unquote. All right, GGs. QG. Nice throw. GG. Awesome Emo job. Asmi. Hello. 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 Good morning. That's a nice Briegel blaster you got there. God, that's, <laughs> I noticed right after I got floor four early, I was like, oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, we noticed uh, when you left MT. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I assume so. <clears throat> Dang, what time did you get emo? 48.15. That's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not sub 48. It's not sub 48. Oh, dude, my CCL writing was so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate using the word cringe, but oh my god, that CCL it was, was it awful. It wasn't that bad. Nah. Ran all around Central Cavern for like 15 notes. Yeah. Alright. You guys can go ahead and get back to the main menu. All right. We'll take a nice little small restroom water break and we'll come back for game number two. Yeah, I'll be right back. Same. Wait, I have a question. So the other side of Icicle Grotto, where do you enter that from? Uh, like it's to the left of where it's like down to the left of where you come out as solo banjo. 
Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I probably wouldn't go through the volcano in this case if I wanted to go there for, like, Cheeto or Treble. I would never go through volcano for Cheeto or Treble. Unless you need the volcano jiggy. Yeah. Okay. It's the only case. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna do seed shot race. You comfy cozy? Not really. This is like really. <laughs> it's not. It's not very comfortable to like stretch it over the headphones. Right. But but I will say that Simply's uh, Simply's hoodie is really comfy. It was a good purchase. Someone redeem advertise a product. Really comfy, cozy. Man, I'm gonna go get food immediately after this. Right? Do it. Over. And then you're gonna do another race. And I'm gonna do another race <laughs> yeah. at seven o'clock. Yeah. In about two and a half hours. And then I'm gonna get drunk. I kind of want to get wings. Do it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you like my shout out, Mumbo? Yeah, I did. <laughs> SHM wasn't a fan. Aww. Huh? Oh, did he God. stop at Seaman's Prize? Yeah, I yeah. thought about it, but now I was like, nah, sir. Yeah, you're banned. <laughs> he, Asmi was trying, was uh, too busy losing the bingo to Aww. waste any time. Aww. True. <laughs> I thought about uh, skipping JRL until I had to go to HFP, because I could, and then I, I rightfully was not confident in my note routing for uh, leg spring if I skipped JRL. What 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 road did you do? I did column one. Okay. What were you doing column four? I did BLTR. BLTR. Ooh. I actually thought about that one. Mm -hmm. I think BLTR was the better row, but... Emo picked a pretty good row as well and did really well, so. Mm -hmm. Let's get this guy pulled up. I'm never confident in my note routing, <laughs> but notes were okay, I think. They weren't too bad, but I was getting tight on in HFP, though. Like right when I entered, I needed like 85 or something for uh, glide. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, you guys ready to go for game two? Yep. yep. All right, email up 1-0. Uh, seed is posted. You guys are both ready Gotta to go? Yep. yep. All right, we will start the final game of match number two in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. See you, targets in. 
<laughs> See ya, emo. Yeah. See ya, emo. <laughs> All right, Bex, what are you hoping to see from both of these runners? Oh, uh, well, they're going to do the Klungo cutscene skip first. Oh, my go, goodness. Hello? Look at row five. Oh, actually, I need to pull up the card. How is Asmi this far behind? Asmi literally 15 seconds behind. One second. Yeah, that's a yikes. Emo failing Klungo cutscene skip again, though. Asmi On the other side of things, too. though. Column one is looking juicy. Row two looks like a trap. Oh, they both failed it. <laughs> okay, now they're pretty much synced, I think. All right, let's look at this. There we go. Row one. Okay. All right, now I can look at the card. Oh. Ooh, see a target sale. Row one's not bad. 15 globos, but I mean. Row one, you got three individual jiggies and mm -hmm. then a shit ton of notes and a shit yep. ton of globos. Mm -hmm. Row one's probably like a 53 ish. I'm sure there are better rows on the card. Hmm. Nothing's really popping out to me yet. Man, row five is popping. But obviously can't do that row, because uh, James Bond decided that uh, Target Zanj Doogie uh, didn't need to live any longer. Column one's not that good. I don't really like any of these rows, to be honest. Yeah. I really hate that MT kickball got slotted right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> because I would like a lot of these rows if I didn't have to detour out of my way for kickball. I mean, I guess you've got the eight jiggies in GGM slash bring train to fireside synergy, question mark. Can you do column one without going past Clifftop? Nah, there's no way. There's too many minjos on the other side. Yeah. I don't know. Row one's just a, you a safe row, I think. To, you only have access to eight minjos if you don't go past Clifftop. Mm-hmm. So you have to get a little more than that. It's a good number to know. Column two is okay. I mean, it's got 20 honeycombs and a move in there, and that's kind of your key to success. Can row three skip Clifftop? Um, you could. Technically. There's three Minjos in HFP and three Minjos that you need to go through JRL to get. Row three can skip no. Clifftop as long as you DCW. Yeah, of course. Row four? Yeah, one of your jiggies is coal. Hmm, row four is not terrible. I, I don't, I, I, I don't think, I think there's any row, clear winners. Row one isn't like terrible either. I think row one is probably yeah. okay. But sack pack row one is basically what I guarantees. Sack pack basically guarantees you're getting like a fifty-two or fifty-three or higher. Like sack pack is just it's so many nuts. All right, well, Asmi, I believe, has chosen row four. Okay. We'll have to wait to see what Emo is deciding. Both of them going into bottles. Let's see, if you do column two, what are your six jiggies in CCL? You do Super Stash, Minji, BBB, and then what? Cheese wedge? Is that right? Probably. Okay, both of them have gone with row four. So 
So now it's just up to who's gonna route it better. <laughs> both of them struggling with Plateau early. Now they both get it on the same try. This is all tied up, folks. I'll tie that because Asmi is, for whatever reason, still choosing to grab these notes, even though he's already gotten Red House. Well, you, you would take these notes and Red House. You would skip uh, notes in GGM. But that's if you aren't DCWing. Which. I would hope he's not DCWing. Or I'd, I'd hope he is DCWing, rather. Because there's no reason to go to the bottom of JRL. The yeah, email's setting up his DCW right now. Yeah. Why does Asmi do that thing where he goes onto the rope for this Cheeto page? You just need to hold forward and press A. That's what Univin does. The the beak bust? He does the beak bust onto the rope, then jumps. I think it's a little bit faster. Is it? Yes. Oh, mm, you learn something new every day. So yeah, Asmi made a mistake going for the notes outside of Plateau. But it's a little one. Yeah. Alright, Bex, where do you think these guys are going to be DCWing to? Um, did Emo just 360? I think he did. Anyways, uh, go ahead. So, I mean, okay, let's see, let's see these goals. Uh, well, there's Clinker, so probably credits to get to GI. That's sounding good to me. But why would he do that when you can just DCW to Clinkers? Yeah, and you don't even need to get uh, Claw Clamors, because you're oh. right there. Or Brigal Blaster. Right? Because it just puts you in it. You also don't need to get free time to schedule any of your future bingo matches because you're gonna lose. <laughs> Matt Taz was right. He was right. <laughs> Except that one time he decided to. What did he? Did he go to Twinkly's or Clinkers? No, he went to Clinkers. <laughs> it was a good idea. You, it, at least it was a good idea. He just didn't know the lore. He had good intentions. <laughs> <laughs> he was he had the good lore. <laughs> Oh man, eight jiggies in GGM. What do you skip? Boulder and, Boulder and Canary Mary. FBS? Or Boulder Canary, Canary Mary, Mary, of course. Of course. Yeah, so they're going to be coming back with Ordnance, but that works because they have synergy with Clinkers. Now ask me as a reason to get the move. <laughs> Which means he also has uh, a reason, an extra reason to forget it. So, the, I was going to say the problem with DCW to Toxic Waste is you don't have Clockworks yet. But, you don't need Clockworks for much. It means you can't get Floor 2 Cheeto. It also means you have to leave after doing Clinkers. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Gogo brings up a good point. You need the notes for Clock Glamours, so... My, I think the problem with DCW into GI is having to open the door and leave and come back. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're ever DCWing directly to GI, you want to do everything in one trip. Yeah. That's really just the problem with GI in general. GI is like just such a hard level in bingos because so much of GI is navigated by doing clockworks. And mm -hmm. if you're trying to like break into GI... Earlier than intended. Most oh, of them don't have clockwork. emo. Oh, emo wanted to do the thing, yeah. and he's gonna get punished for it. Yeah. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. That he's overlapping the cutscene. Well, he was trying to overlap it, but it's gonna shut down now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, whose forehead is that? Yeah, it's Pierce Brosnan. It's uh, Chris Hansen. It's James Bond. The old James Bond. The taller James Bond. Apparently, this is unrelated to, like, anything bingo, but Daniel Craig is apparently very violent about his height. He was, he was criticized for being a short James Bond, and he was very angry at people in interviews for being called short. Yeah. Okay. But who gives a fuck about that? Am I right, Emo? It feel, or Mumbo? It feels pretty good to be over six foot, doesn't it? Yeah, right? Yeah, fuck oh. these shorties. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bex, what do you think of, uh, of people who are uh, 5'11 and shorter? Well, just curious. Do you think I mean, they deserve life on this planet? I mean, I'm five four, so I, mean, I think I'm... they just shouldn't be allowed to reproduce oh. and make more shorties. Okay. <laughs> what if they reproduce with a tall person and they have tall kids? No, That's then their just... kids will be short. Okay? <laughs> oh. You're, just... <laughs> You're corrupting the bloodline. Oh, okay. We gotta keep this shit pure like Slytherin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what is Osby doing? What is, what doing? is this? He's getting the, the train oh, station war pad and then going back to faster to come all the way back with shoes? I don't know. Probably I don't not. He thought it was a good idea. Good intentions. Alright, Bex, what is your question? Oh, wait, I didn't have one. Oh, then why did you say Mumbo? I didn't say Mumbo. Then my... Oh, okay. Well. Anyways. So, Emo has lost a little bit of time to ask me because he tried to be cute. Now he's still yes. being cute, but this is, like, easier. This oh, yeah. No, he's... This is guaranteed. Cute. Look, he's got 15 seconds left. He's fine. Oh, you know what would have been really sick for Emo to do? If he missed it and went for the underwater swim into waterfall yeah it's that never gonna happen so dude. sick if he went for it though because that would have been, been the most optimal at that point in time and we could have really like yep. graduated him but unfortunately we would we we're not able to see it this time around <clears throat> mumbo if you don't let short people exist then we won't be tall anymore everything is relative oh good point good point i mean i don't care about being tall I just care oh, about being tall. You just want foot. everyone being tall. Look at all these. Look at all these short people in chat typing yeah, exactly, shift sticks. Exactly. Shift sticks because they wish they were six yeah, feet I tall. Yeah, I mean, you know, Gogo, -Go, he's like what five oh hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to type the carrot. <laughs> it's a miracle he can even reach it. <laughs> yeah, he needs a ladder to pick up his N64 controller, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> okay. We have we have so we have digressed so far away from the relevant <laughs> bingo conversation. We're ready to go. We're ready to go with the actual stuff that matters. Asby's trying to talk to Mumbo from the ground, but he hasn't woken him up yet. Oh. What if you're 5'5 five, five, but have an 8 inch cock? I don't know. Couldn't be me. It's too bad nobody will ever find out about it. See how many Cheetos that was for email. I'm assuming two. I mean, yeah, there's neither of them have left. Finally, emo is leaving GGM. Because you want to come back and get the They're kind of doing an extendo version of the old GGM any percent route. With this, you know, where you had six jiggies leaving. Ooh, as he's lifting the train now. Do I like this? Not really. Yeah, this is okay, because you lift the train and then save and quit. Nothing yeah. Wrong with this. Oh, but then you have to go back to Plateau. Anyways. Well, he... Well, Mumbo's... Or, I mean, uh, Emo's coming back to Plateau. 
Is he? The only difference here is that Asmi gets to save and quit out of Chuffy, whereas Emo's gonna have to death warp and then warp Banjo over there. Basically, Asmi will get the choice to take running shoes into the train station. That's the benefit he gets from doing Chuffy now. Ooh, see, now I don't know about getting these notes. Oh, okay. I They're was still fast. Say, if Asmi They're death still warp fast. There, Well, they don't need quite so many notes this time around. They only need 505. Mm-hmm. So. These are, are not these the emo notes. notes. I get them too, and they're not bad at all. Mm-hmm. I will say that I do not go out of my way to get those notes. I, like, only get those notes if I'm doing Clumbo too. Like, always. That's just me, though. Ooh, puzzle time. What is this? Oh, yeah, because Asmi still has to go through get grenades. Is yeah. 94 on the, the empty puzzle a bingo square? I don't know. That's a question for Cole. It would be a pretty good one. That's a question for old Kipton Cole. All right, Bex, what are we hoping to see from Ema on this puzzle? I think he's going to get a 92. You think he's going to get a 92? I think you're yeah. dreaming. Oh. Wow. Asmi bailed on that and then unbailed and then bailed on bailing. And then still didn't get it. And still didn't get it. <laughs> Christ, Asmi. That's... Oh, that's okay. a 90. Barely. Interesting jump against the wall there. I don't think Asmi's going to get these notes in the water. I don't think he should. Mm, does he have enough here? Yeah. How do you leave with 115? Of course he has enough. Don't you remember? He got the 20 notes in Plateau. Yeah, that's true. But 115... How do you have 115 notes? Because he didn't go to Mumbo yet. But he did went go to Mumbo. He might have missed a five next to Prospectors because he knew he was yes. coming back. That's, that is a good point, and that's actually smart if that's what Asmi did. And I'm proud of him. Because he knows he's going to come back through for Dilberta and Ordnance, so he might pick yep. it up then. Yep, that is smart. So what uh what are you getting MT? What Cheeto pages? Do you get the uh pillars pillars. Cheeto page? I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think really? you get pillars. I think you get the two freebies and then dip. Yeah. Cause you've already got two. Because you're already forced to go to HFP. We already talked about those two easy ones, right? And I mean there's other there's other bad ones to get. Even if you have to go to Spiral Mountain for that Cheeto page. Well, in this road the pillar Cheeto page in HFP is not that quick because you're not already right by glide necessarily definitely the one by the fire switch is the ultra fast. is super fast Ooh, wow. that was a you tight angle all the way around that was wow great. i usually I do that in two beat bombs i thought he was gonna get plugged by the uh, invisible wall there yeah me mm -hmm. too but that was pretty sick he was able to squeeze on by Good Asmi just finishing up his puzzle, watching the long cutscene now. Ooh, and that note order is also pretty good. I always do that note order wrong. Now we're gonna watch out for them getting uh whatever the move is called, Briggle Blaster. Ooh, emo, I don't like this. Oh no, you have to go to prison compound because you need Dilberta Jiggy, obviously. True. I forgot all about that. We were just talking about it. And yet I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but see, this is the smarter thing to do. Shoot the door and then come back. Not shoot yeah, the I door, agree. walk in, warp back. Walk uh -huh. back in later. Very safe GSG early from Emo. Yeah, I liked Emo's route here. Um, I wonder if Asmi's going to do the same thing.
even though you're going into prison compound, I don't know that this Cheeto page is worth getting. It might be. I think it is. You already As make, me, you already make half the move over there. I think it's worth. As me's remembering Briegel Blaster this time. But will it save him? <laughs> well, definitely save him if Emo forgets. That'd be a shame. True. Especially after we just grilled Asmi for forgetting. Oh, <laughs> uh, Asmi or Emo tried to be cute there, but did end up wasting his flutter. So now he's got to walk all the way over. <gasps> no, Asmi, come on! You knew that was not gonna work. What did he try to do? He tried to beak bust to get onto the top platform for the Cheeto page, but he was way off. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't even what? close. What do you mean? He, he has to go to back and get the Cheeto. Bust. Like, because he was still in flight and he was above the Cheeto. So he wanted a beak bust to get out of flight so he could pick up the Cheeto and then drop down. But he wasn't close enough, so he didn't land on the top ring. Oh my god. Thank you, Cole. The much-needed update for the people. And e uh, Asmi's entering now. Doesn't Asmi not have grip grab yet, or has he? No, he's doing the same strat. He's done. J oh, he's doing the same thing he did. Yeah. Why? Emo, good boy, is remembering that he needs to uh, learn this move here. Why would you do it this way? I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's faster. I don't think it is though. <laughs> why? As we keep round two. I don't know why it. they don't just like if you beat bomb through the door there, you literally. Oh, oh my god, that was so was bad weird. right there. He had his goggles zoomed in when he upseed. <laughs> um, what is it called? I don't know why people don't beat bomb through the Cheeto page, bonk off the door, and then turn around. Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily easy. Sometimes you splat, and if you get really unlucky, you splat in that way that you roll down the wall instead of staying on the floor. Well, that just means you weren't high enough. True. True. The bonk, the bonk is the strap. I agree, Emo but I moon don't moon think moon. it's trivially easy. For whatever reason, it wasn't Moon Moon this time. Because Moon Moon is uh, not the fastest code. I think Emo started to do... Uh, this code and then was convinced that he should do moon moon first so maybe not sure yeah this cheeto page is worth getting i think so what's evo got left in ggm just dilberta and ordinance and then cole and cole yeah that's quick He's up to five Cheetos already within the first two levels, so looking pretty good. Bex, where do you think these guys should get their last three Cheetos? Last three? Um. Uh, either HFP or probably GI. Uh, yeah, there's I would the code. Two quick ones in GI, one super quick one in HFP. Mm -hmm. Do these guys even need to go to TDL for anything? They I, I don't maybe think so. for notes. Yeah, they could just, just go for because they notes. just need to get the claw climbers. Yeah. Because mm, they're both going to DCW to GI, right? Like, yeah. To credits. That's what we're thinking. You don't have anything to do in CCL. You don't have anything to do in TDL. You just need notes. Which level do you go into for notes? JRL. Well, I mean, I'm talking about between TDL and CCL. You have nothing to do in either level. But he has enough, I, right? I mean, like, with 505, you can just opt to do Isla Hag stuff. Right? Then you'd have to get a lot of notes in your first four levels. Yeah. I guess you would have to get all 100 in JRL, which is obviously not optimal. 
Yeah, I mean, and if they're not going down to the bottom, they're missing 40 in JRL. Well, then, yeah, you probably got a TDL. TDL is like free 60 notes. Mm -hmm. it's, like, mm -hmm. it's like maybe 50 seconds for 60 notes. It's pretty worth it. It's kind of weird that um, um, uh, or Emo's doing it in this uh, in this order, though. I usually uh, like doing it in this order, but that's only if I'm riding the train somewhere, which he's not because he doesn't have the train station. Over. But so you're saying he's gonna ride the train and then come back? Well, no, because he hasn't done ordinance. Oh, he had. Yeah. Oh, that's the order you're talking about. Yeah. No, that is weird. Like, I would have done Ordinance, got the Jiggy Death Warped, come back in at Bullions, and then just walked to Mumbo. Yeah, I like that route this. better. But now he's going to have to, like, make in a third trip for Ordinance sometime. Maybe he'll well, get it now. Maybe he'll warp to the entrance now and do it. That's what I, I think that's what he's going to do. I think Asmi's going to do the route that you were discussing. Yeah. I see, because okay, he's got that right those five now. notes. Yeah. Asmi should do what's done in 100%. He gets these five yeah. notes. Oh, uh, oh, he forgot about him. Them or not. <laughs> well, is he going back now? He oh, doesn't know where Ordnance is. Know where he's going. <laughs> yeah, Emo's on his way to Ordnance now. Yeah, bingo. It just really depends on if your row has... Long goals in Wait, goals what, is, in what is he doing? Is, oh, oh, Emo's, Emo's doing, doing Canary Berry. E mm, I don't know. Uh, is that faster? <gasps> oh my. Emo! Oh my god! Emo! It makes you walk all the way over there? <laughs> I have never seen that. I what haven't was that? either. Poor guy. I didn't know it makes you walk all uh, the way there. That was painful. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do that, you death warp on Canary Mary every time. Yikes. <laughs> I think I think Asmi's got the better. I, 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 think, I, think, Emo, I think this is better. <laughs> maybe Evo's thinking he's going to do Canary Mary 2 for another Cheeto page, but I yeah, really that's hope I he doesn't. Thinking. I really hope he doesn't. Because it's not worth. No, it's definitely not worth it for eight. If he was doing like the same row and it was 12, I would say like, okay, yeah, do it. Interesting. I think Ordnance is faster than Canary Mary, I, I though. I think 100% is faster as well. Because Emo also had to spend you time already opening got up Canary Mary. Blaster. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, the synergy mm -hmm. was already there. Mm -hmm. That walk over to Canary Mary, though. Oh, my God. That killed me. That slow I... walk. Why did it do that? I've never seen it that. Bring, it has to bring Banjo and Kazooie really close her. enough to talk to her. Oh, cause he. Oh, I see. Oh, cause he shot it, and then oh, mm -hmm. so far away. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I think Asby's in the lead right now. I mean, it's pretty easy to compare. He is one they Cheeto have... down. Oh yeah, I suppose. Why is he saving a No. He. I think uh... he wants to come back to do. I think yeah, he wants to ride the train, which I don't think is the play. Yeah, why would you ride the train? He's going to do a GGM3. I swear to God, if Asmi learns Ice Axe for Cole. I swear to God. Probably. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think you do Cole now, then you save Quit Out, and then you just... You should have done Cole right press there, the button. in the level. That, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. And then when he goes to HFP, he presses the button, then he goes into the train station, which is right there, and uh, talks to the sign. Wait, these guys haven't been to Witchy World yet. Oh, no. my God. 
God, it, this got, bingo is so long. Hey, Jiggies and Witch are in GGN. That's what happens. I think Emo's in the lead now. Oh my God, Asmi! Emo Canary Mary takes you to the train. God, You're going to jail, Asmi. And he's getting these notes. Oh my God, Asmi! Had the lead on on Emo. If Asmi gets the the Cave of Horrors Cheeto page and he's banned from the stream forever, I think Asmi gets on stream and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> So what I hope to see is he's going to get split up and dip. No, that's what I'm hoping for. And I know that's not what I'm going to see, but that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, no, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yeah, these guys still have a DCW available, too. Oh, Asmi needs to set that up. He's gonna collect some. Is that notes, eight for emo? It is, right? First yes. goal done. Yes. He had nine jiggies. So I don't remember him getting a ginja, so. Call it what it is. Now emo's gotta go to Witchy World. And emo is very much now in the lead. Because he's completely done with Cole. See, so now Emo gets to go to HFP and call the train. Yeah. He could literally end on calling the train. Yeah. He's going to end on Clinkers, but yeah. Yeah, you could end on Clinkers, too. You definitely do HFP first, because you don't no, need Clockwork right. to do yeah, it. I, you're 100% so. right. Oh, Emo's getting these notes, too. <sighs> They're not the worst notes to get. My next advertisement's going to be for Area 51 notes. <laughs> All my advertisements during the bingo tournament are going to be for things you shouldn't be doing in the bingo what? tournament. What was the other one? Double air. Didn't lose enough friends getting double air. <laughs> Lose the last of your respect. Get hey, Area 51 There you notes. go, Mumbo. Advertise a product. <laughs> Steve just redeemed it. I don't know how the hell you guys have 15,000 points in this channel. Yeah, I don't know either. I literally have this channel on for like basically every race. I have 3K. Also, where where's the predictions? I haven't seen a single prediction. Someone throw up a prediction. Who's going to win this match right now? Nate has 73K. Cole is 75K. What the actual... I have 3K. <laughs> yeah, I have 3K too. Well, okay. That's what I'm saying. You know why? It's because these guys have been watching the Tui 100% tournament, which means they're getting like 400,000 points a stream. Because that shit takes forever. Look at all these mods who have that many points and they can't even bet. That's makes me <laughs> sick. What do you even redeem it on? What the hell are you guys doing? You guys have like 10 fake accounts that just. <laughs> you guys are liquidating assets. <laughs> oh. Prediction. Thank you. Okay, who's Thank gonna you. win right now? How is this even a contest? The fact that Asmi is back in GGM after <laughs> already being in GGM <laughs> makes me fucking sick. Absolutely fucking sick. I, what is he doing? I guess he's getting this Cheeto page, but... Nah, he's not revisiting only to get more notes, though. Splat. Yep. Yeah, the big bus isn't gonna save you, buddy. There's a hundred K down for emote, zero for freaking <laughs> Or not a There's one point. point for one point. <laughs> That's a nine point nine. That one point is gonna turn into forty. What, what is it? 
What's the what's the rate of return? Look at this. Your odds are 1 to 243. Holy! That's pretty odds good. Those are insane. That means however many points you put in gets multiplied by 300. 330 right now. So one point right now is going to net you 330 points. That's pretty nuts. I, what is Asmi doing? Asmi is tilting the <laughs> Is he leaving? Oh, please don't leave. What? Uh-oh. He's looking at the cheat sheet. I don't know. He's having an existential crisis. Can I just say that Asmi was in the bingo tournament last Wait, year? Wait, what? He dc like, to GDM? Made these mistakes. Oh, is that what happened? That's what Nate said. Oh. That's what Gogo said. How oh, he, that's a goal. GM. That's a goal in the contest thing. How does he DCW in oh, yeah. What cutscene did he touch? Did he like warp? I think he used a warp pad and then tried to DCW. He was like, "Yeah, I'm slick. I'm gonna get this treble clef and this Cheeto page." And uh, <laughs> as I DCW, when he warped back. Didn't know that using the warp pad sets your DCW location. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So which warp pad did he warp to? Crushing Shed? He, he warped from Crushing Shed to... He or, warped from the entrance to Crushing Shed, right? Yeah, either that yeah. or back. Oh or both. Oh my god, Asmi. <laughs> How does he not know that? What you don't understand is it's actually really smart because now he can get the 30 notes in Atlantis. That'll go a long way towards his 505. And he's learning ice eggs, man. Why wouldn't he just... Oh my god. Well, Somebody actually put a thousand points down on Asmi. Come on, guys. Asmi was doing great until he <laughs> saved and quit out of ordinance. Yeah, I agree. And ever since then... Let's just put it this way. We can tell from this gameplay that Asmi is in over six foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> hey, Asmi's the first one in the JRL. Yeah, true. Oh. Very true. Emo's got nothing on him. Asby doesn't even have a goal done. Asby's Asby gonna have purchased blubbers. That's gonna be his goal. No, oh, I forgot they had that goal. All right, Bex, what's the best way for Asmi to recover from his monumental screw-up that he'll never let down? He mm, can't. He can't recover. He can't no, at all? No. There's nothing he could do. No. Not. It's over. What if, what if he, he discovers if he a big another, clip from Cheryl? What Cheryl? if he adds another $500 to the prize pool? <laughs> what if he adds another $500 to the prize pool? Just kidding, let's be honest. We don't need to give Xbox that much money. <laughs> wow. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Same, though. Yeah, well, if Asmi wins the tournament, there you go. <laughs> then it's worth. Add another $500 and Hag will stop his marathon right now and schedule his matches. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Dude, I want to see a Haganator bingo so bad. Oh my gosh. Dude, I want to see Haganator versus Schlongster. Oh. Why couldn't you give it to us, SHM? When's the <laughs> exhibition match? Exhibition match. I will say, I will say that 
just based off of what the experience has been right now, I do think next bingo tournament will slip it back to double elim. Because round robin, while the idea of a round robin tournament is really good, and I also think that the idea of a round robin tournament really does show the top eight seeds, uh, it isn't as fun for the other eight seeds. I agree. And it makes the matches like a little like lopsided. So, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I think if I end up organizing another bingo tournament, I'll definitely go back to double Elon. Can we allow money matches? So now watch this, Asmi. What Emo's gonna do is now that he's pressed the button, he's just gonna walk it. Okay, he's gonna get the Cheeto page first. But he's just gonna walk into the train station and call the train. <laughs> That's all he needs to do. Gimmick bingo tournament is this, soon. This is the gimmick bingo tournament. The gimmick is that a goal is shot. Mm -hmm. Well, he's talking about the yeah. on your skip gimmick bingo. Yeah. Catch me. Which sleeping. I'd be a lot. I'd be for that. I think that'd be fun. Catch me sleeping. All right. Train has been called. Someone banned Steve. <sighs> what else does Emo need to do here? He's got to grab one more Cheeto, maybe in here, or he could get the one in floor two. Uh, did he? He hasn't gone to JRL yet. He's still got to purchase Blubbers, and then he's yeah, got to go thinking, to GI. I I had to reset out of this cutscene. But maybe he wants to get more stuff. No, I think he wants to get either more notes or another cheetah. I mean, let's put it this way. It doesn't matter what Emo does. I mean, what if Emo softlocks six times? Like... <laughs> six times? Okay, well, if Emo softlocks six times, then yes, he absolutely deserves to lose to Asmi, but... At this point, he's good. Emo needs 100 notes. Take it solo K to Icy Side. He doesn't have clockwork. Even if Emo dies in Cauldron Keep, it's still not even a race because Emo has plenty of notes and he has to go to JRL anyways. Mm hmm. I don't know that what Emo's doing right now is very worth it, though. Well, now it's not because now he can't do the jump over for the Cheeto. Well, he couldn't get the Cheeto anyways because he doesn't have Clockworks. You don't need Clockworks. So he's doing so this just for notes. Can you? Yeah. That's what we do With... 100%. You just jump to it. Without Wing Whack? Yes. But anyways, he only needs 100 more notes. And between the notes he can get in JRL and the notes that he could get in uh, GI before he gets cla Clamors, okay. I definitely don't he... think that these Icy Side notes were worth it. He got 20 notes. And then recombine? He's, 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 yeah, he just did it for the 20 notes. So he All only of that got 20, 20 notes. notes after the train station. Yeah, then I definitely yes. will reset after bringing in the train. That's a good point. Maybe he was hoping to get the other 20 on lower icy side, but when he died on accident, he's just like, it's not worth going nah, back he, for it. No, he walked into the Yeti purpose. He did not accidentally hit the Yeti. No way. Not twice. Unless actually Emo's a genius, knowing that he's going to get 60 notes here, and then the treble clef. No, I, I did no. As soon as the train enters the station, you can reset, and it'll save as yeah. the train being in the station. Does the train have to make it to HFP Fireside, or on the level transition can you reset? You can reset on the... Well, no, no, no. It has to. It has, you, yeah, you have to see it coming into the station. Gotcha. And then you can reset. That's good to know. It's just like the train station switches. You have to see the door opening, and then it resets. And then it saves it as being open.
Okay, here's Emo's Emo purchasing the running shoes. So yeah, Emo just has to do floor two Cheeto if he wants to grab that one. And or and or Spiral Mountain and then go to GI. Oh, it's sick. Use these shoes to get more notes. Yeah. Solid. Oh, man. What a bingo. What a game number two. Doesn't even look at the menu. I don't even want to look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, he is DCW in the Toxic Waste. Interesting. Mm. I guess this is actually probably the smarter idea. So then that's that's why he got oh. the the 20 notes in HFP. Why he went all the way out of his way. So he could have 505 here. Well. Now the question is, does Emo save quit here? Or does he walk all the way out? He should save quit. Um, as me, he's okay. He's shooting a clockwork. That's a little better. He's also as me's first clockwork. He's not safe quitting. He still wants more notes on the way out. He already got those. I don't know. What if uh, Emo touches the sign right here and ruins his DCW? Nah, he's already hit a sign. Oh, yeah. Start of HFP. Yeah, Emo is DCWing into Toxic Waste, so he will already be inside of GI. He does mm -hmm. not need Springies. I still don't know if I agree with it, with the 20 notes specifically, because there's so many notes on floor one of GI that he could have grabbed instead, but. Well, and the, the he fire needs train, 25 the, the right fire now. The fire train loading zone is so long. On floor one, there's 10, 20, there's 35 wow. notes. So you would have had to get 10 anyways. Silo does not ruin DCW. Because that happens in every single run. But warp pads 100% do. Correct. Emo doesn't even need to go to floor 2. He can just do Waga. Oh, is that the last sheet of page he needs? Yep. Which is good because he doesn't have clockwork. So he wouldn't be able to get floor 2 anyways. Yeah, this is pretty good for Emo. I like this. I like the DCW music. That'd be real sad here if he died. It would be real sad. Because then he would need to go get Springies. And Talon Torpedo. Yeah, this match is just over unless Emo fails. Floor for early for ten minutes straight. He's not gonna be floor early. Are you sure? He's got clock climbers. Yeah. Yeah. Floor for early is faster still than going up the entire way. Oh wait, he doesn't have. No, you're right. He has to do floor four. He knows now. Yeah. You're right. He does. I forgot. Emo doesn't have clockworks. He literally can't do. Yeah. Floor four. Or he has to do four four early, yeah. Because you can't go through quad. You can't. Control. You can't go through the crushers unless you're doing. Well, I mean, he could do crusher skip, but 
What does Crusher skip? That's where you're like you override the crusher animation with like fall damage or something how does it work cole he could just take mumbo and turn off the crushers oh yeah true options but no even if he has clockworks i still think floor for really is the better play as long as you can get it quick which he can right here. He doesn't go for it, Emo. Come on. Pausing too early. You definitely. I pause early way more often than I pause late. Same. Mm hmm. It is a gimmick, Crosby. If you go in uh, the bingo channel, you tied seed gimmick. It'll give you a, a gimmick bingo. And that's one of the options. Ooh, that was really late. I'm glad he at least went for it, though. The one frame buffer. Oh, man. All right, what are the chances that Azmi gets Sorry, this first? Really have to watch Azmi's Frickin' 4-4 four, four again. <laughs> Just aim at the button, dude! I hope you guys like the color pink, by the way. We're gonna be looking at this for a while. Come on, Emo. Wow, rooting for Emo. There it is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. That wasn't even close, Asmi. I don't know why Asmi does 4-4 four, four early like this. <laughs> I, I have I no idea mean. why he's aiming the button like... Like, how are you supposed to focus on a pause when you're holding your analog stick like this? I don't know. It works for him, man. And by it works for him, it clearly doesn't work, but... It's the way he does it. Oh, one frame? Nope. Get late. out of Talon Shrot. Talent shot doesn't affect anything. Well, Emo's done as long as he doesn't die in here. If, if Emo dies in here, then it's a race. Mm -hmm. But Emo's got pretty close to full health, and he's going to play this super safe. Pretty good row from him. Why did Emo's health bar pop up right there? That was so weird. Did you see that? I didn't. Mm -mm. It popped up at four health for some reason. But an I think he took damage. Didn't die. No, he didn't take damage. I would have heard it if he take damage. Did he walk near a honeycomb? That's what I'm wondering. I was wondering if somebody dropped a skill stop near him. Well, there's honeycombs that are just in the map. I know, but your health bar doesn't pop up just at a regular honeycomb. Only on skill stops. Gotcha. Anyway. Now, Asby's going to be doing clinkers. I mean, it's the thing goes over, but Asby's <laughs> going to be trying to do clinkers with one health. Yeah, that's a I say, I, I say we let him ride Fine. it out just a little bit. Now, that's a GG. <laughs> Good job, Emo. I want to see Asby die here so bad. All right, we're pulling Emo in just to laugh at Asby. <laughs> oh, clinker with one health. That was good. Oh no. Oh, oh. Uh, oh <laughs> that was so gosh. close. Oh, I gotta pull this up. Anyways, oh, now he's getting the two. Okay, now I'm uh, pulling an ass. Oh, weenie. Yeah. All right, GG's.